Chad Colby's look at agriculture technology comes your way next, brought to you by the IBM Watson Decision Platform. Combining AI with Internet of Things data to help agribusiness increase yields, improve quality, and drive sustainability. A few weeks ago, Matt Youngman, show director for Farm Progress Show, talked about some of the trends coming to this year's Farm Progress Show, and one of them was autonomous tractors. Chad has a sneak peek. Does autonomous equipment make you nervous? Hi, everyone. I'm Chad Colby. Well, this tech segment might make you a little nervous then. I had the opportunity to attend a demonstration from Raven on their OmniDrive system. Now, OmniDrive is a easy-to-use aftermarket system that installs really easily to both your tractor and your combine to automate the auger cart or the tractor on the auger cart. Now, you can bet there'll be some new tools coming down the road, maybe even for tillage. But for right now, this is the application that they have available. I was really concerned about the user interface. Does it add one more layer of things to do to complicate the operator in the combine? And what happens to that tractor on the auger cart? Can I, can I jump in the tractor and use it conventionally, or is there a whole mess of controls and stuff in my way? What, is that, what does that feel like? We all take a lot of pride in our equipment, so that was a concern for me. And once I got around the machinery, I realized really quick, they've done a nice job with this. You can obviously... Un on top of the combine, there's some added antennas and, of course, receivers and stuff. Both pieces of equipment did have RTK, and you can easily switch and run them manually if you needed to. That wasn't a problem. When you get around the tractor up close, you can see some cameras up on top of the cab, and there's a radar sensor and all those things to make sure that, you know, anything nearby keeps the equipment away and keeps everybody safe. Inside the tractor, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I was completely impressed. Not only was I impressed by how clean it is, as you can see, there's no extra anything in the way in the tractor. I also was impressed on the functionality. Um, sitting in the cab, watching it work, you realize really quickly that this is commercially available now, and, and it's something that would work for all of us. In the combine, it wasn't that complicated for the operator, and I talked to him in detail about it. If he needed the auger card, he hit the button, it came, in, came to him. When he was done, he actually could relocate the staging area, pushes a button, and the tractor goes back to the staging area, essentially waiting for that truck and truck driver to unload the cart. That all worked really good, and even right there in some down oats, as you'll see, man, he pulled back on the stick, and that tractor reacted perfectly. A technology like this, I encourage you to go see in person. Raven has a lot of demos set up across the country. You can go to their website. You'll find that data pretty easily. Also at both the Farm Progress Show, which is coming up, and Husker Harvest, you can see live demonstrations of this technology as well. I didn't mean to make you nervous today, Mike, but let me tell you, this is technology that's here to stay, and a lot more of it is right around the corner. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby. Thanks, Chad. And as he mentioned, that Omnicart will be at Farm Progress. Later on in this program, we'll talk to Dina Morgan about some of the other technology that will be at the show this year.